Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sane. Awesome night. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So I came across this video where this man was yapping like as usual because Rob Smith is very good at, I mean, like spinning what I do not understand. Why? Because he made mention that he does not associate with black people. He has never dated black men. Why? Because they have low mentality and low mindset that he only rolls with men right i do not have any problem with that his sexuality got nothing i didn't have anything but when you come out online to say that you don't associate with black men but right now it's election and you want to also act like you are a black man you all remember that uh, uh kamala harris has already given her policy for black men right and she said, this is what I would like to do for black men. She talked about legalizing weed and at the same time, um, skills, health, and uh, the loan she talked about. And he is saying that all those things are good crap. Why? Because of all things to do for black men is legalizing weed. And he also made mention that the, the money that the loan that black men are going to get, it will be coming from tax money, which is not a big deal and all that. And I am asking you, uh, Rob, you are not a black man, according to you. How come you want to talk on black men issue? Because I don't get you. Let's get into this. Have you know empathy, man? Yes. You know, for the, the suffering of other people, have you no sense of purpose? Have you no empathy, man? I'm Kamala. I'm Jamaican, man. This woman has a different accent for literally just everything. Oh, I'm Jamaican, man. I'm Kamala Harris. You know, the Trump, he the evil bad man. Yeah, man. Let's go to the grill, man. This woman is insane. Be down home Southern. We've seen her try to be black. Now we got the Jamaican Kamala. If America does this, if we really make this woman president, we deserve whatever we're gonna get. I'm There's literally no worse person on earth than a black person who's a pick me and who caters their whole life towards white people. I've seen other videos from this creator who, who bases his whole reality in the fact that black people aren't inherently different because they're black, um, which panders towards white people because if you look at the comment section in this video, it's all white people talking about Kamala Harris, denying her being black, denying her reality, denying her existence. But the reality of this whole situation is Kamala Harris is the daughter of two immigrants, one Indian, one Jamaican, who grew up in America, who assimilated to black Americans, lived her life of black Americans, went to a HBCU, and that is her identity. As someone who speaks multiple languages, and as someone who travels the world, and as someone who has family who speaks multiple languages and accents, depending upon who I'm around, my accent switches depending upon who I'm around. My colloquialisms switch depending on who I'm around. I go in and out of accents. I have accents even when I don't think I have an accent. And I grew up in New York and I have a very New York American accent. Question the lady because she has multiple accents. Yeah, she grew up hearing Hindi, having her family speak Hindi to her, having a Jamaican set of grandparents, having a Jamaican father, and then grew up in America. Do you not understand how someone can have multiple accents, multiple languages, multiple identities? Because depending upon who I am, I'm multiple people she said this to me. She's like, you have so many lives. You have your Nigerian life. You have your Haitian life. You have your American life. You have your music life and you have your Hollywood life. And even though I'm still me and all those lives, the way I speak, the accent I have, the things I reference, the things I talk about are different because of the way I was brought up and the reality of who I am. I don't understand how people can be this dense and this slow. For the love of Christ, let's stop the whole Kamala Harris is not black thing. They are bigger fish to fry. Black Americans are not the only people who are black. You can be black racially and not black ethnically. She's a mixed lady. She's black and she's Indian. We're so quick to claim people who are mixed with black and white and just label them black. But when there is a black lady who is half and half Indian and black, Somehow that's not acceptable. Even though her whole life she's immersed herself with black people, her sister's also black. I don't know. We got to do better. I mean, at this point, it seems like black men are the catalyst behind 
the black community not supporting this woman. And I think mainly it's due to misogyny because they don't want a woman over them. They don't, especially they don't want a black woman over. I don't know, but we got to do better. This ain't it. This ain't the way. Ain't the way. What's your favorite meal to cook? I, I, a lot of, yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> them go, them go to bush and put, bring me back a goat and I cook it up. <laughs> <laughs>
that uh, they should forget about it, that uh, that is a scam. Now, if that is a scam and you do not want to talk about it, you don't want black people to do it because you are scared that uh, someone really got something good to offer black men. Because why, of all things to talk about, of all things to uh, like, you know, to uh, uh, criticize is this particular one. You all said that uh, she does not have any policy for black men, that her interest is only for black women. She ended up coming up with one and then you all now are calling that scam, right? I do not have any problem with anybody calling that scam, but I do not understand what majority of black men want. But I am talking about majority of black men because of what Rob talk, right? But sometimes I do not see him as a black man because he does not uh, uh, he does not identify as one. Yeah, that's how I see it. So I also feel like he does not even have any right to talk about what is going on in black community or speak for black men because the last time I talked about him here, he said that he has also never dated a black man, right? And he does not like, you know, associate with black men. Why? Because they have this tiny mindset, according to him. So how come the same people that got tiny mindset are the people you want to speak up for? Because offer has been made to them, right? See, Ah, oh, this kind of people, I don't trust. I don't like. Why? Because they already got there. I don't know how they maneuver things and all of that. But trust me, I do not believe them or trust people like Rob because it's my. I see Rob as green snake in green grass. He has his way because he is dating a white man and he does his thing around white people. And uh, for that reason, he cannot speak for black people or black men, how I feel. So if he is also speaking for you, that is also okay, which I do not have any problem with because I am not a man. But yeah, Rob Smith, say no more. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.